Hey y'all, welcome to another edition of Chalking with Bridget. This is my replay viewers now watching this one. Um, so I want to finish a pillar that we started. This is gonna be done live, um, but if you're watching this now, you're probably watching the replay. So you're gonna wanna fast forward probably a couple minutes till we get actually going with the project. But this is what we're gonna do today. You guys remember I started this pillow, I did this side, um, I think it was like the end of last week. So tonight we're gonna do the same on the back, but I'm gonna do it in solid black this time. Um, so I thought that would be pretty cool to do. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna finish our pillow. So you're gonna see, if you missed it, you're gonna be able to see how I did that design. So I'm super excited. Make sure you guys tune in, say hello. You can click, um, put hashtag replay if you're watching the replay. I'm gonna go over here, make sure that we're broadcasting, and then we're gonna get started. So give me just a minute. All right. It's been a crazy day today. Busy, busy, busy. Not sure if you guys saw my post in my customer group, but you have to be in my group. If you're not in my customer group, put hashtag group and I'll send you a link so you guys can join. How's that? Because I've got some cool stuff going on in there. And if you're local to me, um, I've got some really cool stuff coming up. I've got a local workshop that I'm doing here at my house on the 27th of this month. You don't want to miss that. Always a fun time. So we're just going to make sure that we're broadcasting so everybody can pop on. This takes forever. And I ordered a signal booster, y'all, so no more fuzzy videos by the end of this week. I'm going to share. Hey, make sure you guys say hello. We got a couple of viewers. I'm getting ready to start in just a minute, guys. I'm just making sure that we're broadcasting. We're gonna have fun tonight. We're going to make this pillow. So if you guys could share too, that would be awesome. I'm trying to get more shares. We're almost ready to start. All right. Almost done, guys. Make sure you guys say hi when you're popping on. All right, one more and then we're done. <laughs> Okay, awesome. So now everybody will start popping on. Look at that, it's magic. Everybody starts popping on. Hey guys, make sure you say hi so I know that you're here um, for my live viewers. So it's been a crazy busy day today. I've been so busy in my office, like down here working on stuff, working on projects that are coming up. Um, but today, you know what? Did you guys see the pillow that I finished? I gotta post the pictures. So the snuggle is real, turned out so adorable. I have it upstairs on my sofa. It's so stinking cute with the little sloth in the corners. Oh my gosh. Everybody's like, you should sell it. I don't wanna sell it, I wanna keep it. <laughs> but it turned out adorable. I'm getting hooked on these pillows, guys. We're gonna do another pillow today. We're gonna do the flip side. So remember I did the skull? This was the one that I did the other day. Our pillowcases are double-sided, so I need to put something on the back. So we're gonna, I wanna do the skull on the back of this one too, but I'm gonna do it in solid black tonight. Make sure you guys say hi. It's been quiet. My past couple of lives that I've done, it's been like super quiet. So I'm glad you guys are popping on tonight. Uh, I think before it was just timing. So make sure you say hi. And if you share the video, please put, um, Hashtag, let's do skull. Do hashtag skull if you shared it. 
Hey Sue, how are you? We're gonna do the flip side of the pillow tonight. Okay, so let's get started. This will be fun. So um, I have my pillowcase. This is an ink mat. You need this. You need an ink mat if you're, especially if you're doing pillows. Okay. So we're gonna put our ink mat inside, and this fits perfectly inside of our pillow. If you didn't know that, look at everybody popping on. There you guys are. I missed you guys. Hey Sue. Sue said hello. Thanks for tuning in. I love when you guys are on here with me. Yesterday was like nobody, but I went there at like an odd time too. So um, it looks like later is better for you guys. Maybe I need to start going live later in the evening. Okay, so I just put our ink mat in. All right, so um, what this does is it protects the side. I've already ironed it. I'm smoothing it out. I'm getting all the wrinkles out. I'm going to get started here. Can y'all believe like we're almost like halfway through August? Holy cow. Halloween is, I just, this one can be, I guess this could be considered Halloween. I haven't really got into the holiday stuff yet, but I got holiday stuff coming. Oh, and I got my shirt on too. Hey, so this is the one that I made. Look, I made this last night. Do y'all remember me making this shirt? Yeah, it turned out pretty awesome. And then the back is super cool. Can y'all see it? I hope you can. <laughs> Join my team. So I'm a walking advertisement. This is, I love this shirt. It turned out super cute. That's the one we made last night. <laughs> All right, let's get to our pillow, shall we? So this is the same transfer that I used for the front. Notice there's a little bit of staining from the black. That's totally normal, okay? Um, you might get a little bit of staining, especially with some of the darker colors. It's no big deal, but our transfer is clean. The biggest thing is where it's white, that's where you want to make sure that there's nothing in there because that's our silk screen. That's what our ink goes through to um, create these beautiful designs. So this is a big transfer and it sticks to itself. This is horrible when it does this. I hate this. If you guys ever do one of the super large, like the D or E size, one piece, make sure you have help. <laughs> All right, let's make sure we don't we do this the right way. We don't want it upside down because you guys know I'll end up doing it upside down. I always manage to do it backwards. So we are going to kind of line this up. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna put stuffing in it. So it's gonna kind of round out a little bit, which I noticed with my I can't wait to put the stuffing in this one. <laughs> That's why I was like, I almost did this not being live, and I was like, no, they might get mad. So, all right, so I am smoothing this out, making sure that it's sticking to our fabric. Hey guys, make sure y'all say hi when you pop on. We are making some pillows today with our ink, which is gonna be awesome. And there's lots of y'all. And if you guys would share, it'd be awesome. Once we get to 50 shares, I'll be able to see who shared. We're gonna do a drawing, and then you guys can pick from my awesome prize board, which is over here, okay? So you, I've got lots and lots, but we gotta get to 50 shares, so y'all gotta share. Share it on your personal timeline. You can share it in any crafting groups that would allow it. Um, each share will get you one entry, so. When you do share, just put hashtag skull so I know that you shared. And then I can go back and check those when we get to 50. We'll do the drawing, so yay. All right, y'all ready to go? Let's get started. So we got our ink paste tonight. All right, this is we're just doing solid black. No fancy coloring or anything like that. This is our ink. And we're just gonna open it up, look at that. <laughs> and make sure you guys would, especially with the black ink, that you've got some baby wipes, or these are actually disinfectant wipes, have them close by because it makes a mess. You'll get it all over your fingers. All right, let's get my little bag of goodies here. All right, so I'm just gonna use a little stir stick. And the ink is like really smooth. So I'm gonna literally slap some on here and we're gonna start spreading it in. Like literally we're doing the whole thing black, so I'm not really concerned about where I'm putting it. I'm just making sure that it's on there. 
Okay, and check your fingers first. <laughs> All right, you ready? So I'm going to use, this is our big one. This is our big squeegee, our thick, a five inch handle. This is good for big projects. But see how I'm just going over it? This does not take long at all. I love the detail in it. So easy. We should probably do two projects tonight, huh? I got more t-shirts we could do. If you guys want to stick around. Soup shared. Thank you. She said hashtag skull. Thank you so much. Yeah, it really helps because it gets the views up there and uh, shows everybody about this awesome, awesome. I love these things. I absolutely, like I'm addicted to this stuff. And make sure you guys are working on a surface, especially with the ink that you're working on a surface that you don't mind if you spill. This is, I have my table, but I'm just using a disposable tablecloth. Well, it's not really disposable. It's just one of those cheap little plastic ones. I got it on clearance for Easter at Easter time, that's why it's like Easter purple. I should probably switch it up for fall, huh? Don't y'all think? This is turning out really cool. I kind of like, but like, I'm trying to figure out like this design. What do you guys think of it? It's like, um, it's like Victorian. It's like a Victorian, well, it is called a Victorian, Victorian skull, huh? Like the Parisi type. Like I was saying on the last one, it reminds me of, um, you know, like the catacombs, like in France, how they have those things underneath the streets. That's what it reminds me of. Like, that's what I think of when I think of, when I look at this. All right, so I'm trying to be careful. I'm probably going to use another tool to get close on these edges. Because look what I did. I already got black on the side of the pillowcase. Because I'm crazy like that. All right, so let's get another squeegee out and we'll do the sides over here. So I'm going to just reuse this paste. I'm not going to waste any of it. All right, this stuff is like liquid gold. <laughs> a little goes a long way with this stuff too. So I am just getting up. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm just getting up in the corner here and making sure that I got good coverage because it's really easy to miss a spot. And you can fix it if you miss a spot, but with a transfer this big, this sucker is gonna be really hard to line back up perfectly. So your best bet is just to make sure that you're doing it right the first time. <laughs> and this is going a lot faster than the last one we did. So I'm just taking my excess ink, scraping it onto my squeegee, and I'm moving over. Everybody's so quiet. So remember, if you guys are sharing the video, um, do hashtag skull so I know you shared it. Once I get to 50 shares, um, I'm going to do a drawing, and then you somebody's going to win. But we got to get 50 shares on the video. If you're watching the replay, you can participate in it too. Right, and it's got to be on Facebook shares, and I monitor the, the shares. Okay. I think that's pretty good. This is, like I said, this is going quick. I'm checking, I'm looking to make sure that I don't have any white spots. The corners get a little, like, hazy. Hey, guys, thanks for tuning in. We're doing our skull pillow tonight. This is the flip side to our Victorian skull, which I think is amazing. I think it's, I just think it's so cool. There's so much you can do with this thing. Okay, I'm loving this. What do you guys think so far? She so said, how long does the paste take to dry? And to where could it be used without smearing? Okay, so this, well, this is the ink. So this is a little bit different than the paste. Um, the ink dries, I would let it dry overnight or use a blow dryer. It does take a little while to dry. Now the paste that we have dries in three to five minutes, but we're using ink for this. So you wanna make sure this is good and um, 
You want to make sure that this is good and dry before you try to heat set it. All right, so make sure um, it'll start drying pretty quickly on the the surface here. But as far as because it's you know it's wet, it's going into material, so it's going to take a little while to dry. I usually let it set overnight, or I blow dry it. Last night I did the blow dryer on this shirt for like 15 minutes. I made sure it was good and dry, and then I heat set it. But good question. Hey, Marilyn. So you said hi. I'm assuming Marilyn's on. Hello. Thanks for tuning in. Okay. Yeah, if y'all don't say hi, I won't know you're here. So I can't say hello to you, to all y'all. All right. So I'm going to pull this up, and let's see where we're at. I love the detail. So pretty. Ooh, I really like this. <laughs> I'm not a skull person, honestly. I kind of like it better, just solid black. All right, see how my transfer is kind of sticking together? Um, so you are going to want, if, especially if you go any bigger than this, you're going to want a second person. Uh, but I am going to put this over here. I have a water bath. Oh, All right. I got it all over my fingers. And hold on, let me clean up some of this excess and I'll show you. Because I did get a little bit on the edges. So I am going to kind of smudge it in. I'm using my little wipe. I don't want to hit the design on it though. So you gotta be careful when you're going up on the edges. I got a little bit of black there, but it's not a big deal. It gives it character. And see how I got some on the table? And now I'm going to clean that off. I'm over here <laughs> just making a mess. She said, me too, black looks better. I do think it looks better. I thought it was gonna look better with the gold on the other side. Um, but I, I mean, if I was going to do this pillow over, I'd probably just do it in solid black. Unless you're like super artistic, but God knows I'm not. <laughs> y'all, that's probably why y'all tune in to watch me. You're like, what's she going to mess up tonight? <laughs> All right, so here it is. This is it in solid black. I really like it in the solid black. I think it looks awesome. And here it is in the black and this is actually a copper that we used. All right, so this is this is what I did different is I just did it in solid black. Um, but I did the copper and I wasn't, I tried, I don't know, maybe I didn't do such a great job on the back. But you can blend the colors. <laughs> so, uh, but we're gonna do it just like this. I'm liking the black, I think it looks awesome. So I would recommend, if you wanted to do this, I would recommend doing it all one color. I mean, unless you want to do separate colors, you could if you're brave. But if you're doing it in ink, it's permanent. <laughs> so I'm loving it. I want to do something else. This was quick and easy. Should we do another project real quick? You know what I want to do? I want to do a bag. We, let's do a canvas bag. I have the ink out. We might as well. Okay. Let's move this out of the way. We'll do one more project because it's still early. I mean, this took absolutely no time for us to do. All right, let me clean this off real quick. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see, what can we do that's fast and fun while we got the ink out? All right, let me move this out of the way. Moving my prize thing, it fell. Let's see. Let's find something fun to do. Let's do our little tote bag. What do you think about that? She so said, okay, bag. Jason's watching. Hey, I finished it. I finished the skull. We did it in all black. Okay, so let's do the bag. This will be fun. All right, so let me move, I'm moving this so we can let it dry. I have other pillows we can do too. All right, where is the transfer? Here it is. Okay, I love this one. Look at how cute this is. 
don't bother me. I'm procrastinating. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this one since I got it. We could either put it on a bat. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what we could put this on? We could put it on an apron. Hold on. We might have a change of plans, y'all. This is where... Okay, we're going to put it on the apron. We'll do the. We'll make the bag a Halloween bag. Let's do that another night. We have bags we can make a trick or treat bag. Let's do an apron. Ready? This will be fun. Like I'm all over the place. So this is just a. I got this at Hobby Lobby. Let's open it up. <laughs> I like it. I love it. Don't bother me. I'm procrastinating. So you get an apron with your kit. Those of you that are thinking about joining, you do get an apron with your kit, which is pretty cool. So this will be cool if I have like any helpers. Let's do it on this one. I like this idea. What the heck? Oh, I see. All right. <laughs> Hold on. Jason's <laughs> making faces at me. <laughs> so this is like, okay. Cute. We can put this right on here. This is going to look adorable. Trust me. We'll do it right here. Don't bother me um, procrastinating. I love it. What do y'all think? I think it's going to be good. All right, let's get rid of this black. We're not definitely not using black ink on a black apron. And I guess you could if you wanted to. It's your project, right? <laughs> We're putting the black stuff away. And let's pick out some ink colors. I'm going to make Karen wear this when she comes over. I don't know if she's watching. Karen, are you watching? Okay, what colors? This will be fun. Let's pull it out the bag. Make sure you guys say hello when y'all pop on. I guess everybody was done after the skull. They're like, oh, we don't want to do aprons and bags. We'll do that bag. We'll make it a Halloween bag. I got a place, I got to order some more stuff. I've been wanting to do this apron for a while. I have a pile of projects over there, guys. Like. Ridiculous. Okay. So let's get this kind of even. There's a piece of string. Okay. We just want to make sure that it's flat. And we don't want any bubbles in it. So we want to make sure that there's no bubbles. That way we're going to get the detail. Right? I think this is going to be cute. So what color should we do? Well, I like that color. I wonder if that tide would show up. That might be a little bit too dark. We have teal. Let's do it in yellow, Bumblebee. I think Bumblebee will be cool. And we don't have to do it all in one color. We can do different colors. Can the transfers be used both paste and ink? Yes. Yeah, you can use them for paste and ink. And etching. You can use them for glass etching as well. We have. I haven't done this yet. I bought the kit and I haven't even done it. Uh, but you can get a glass etching kit, and you can use the transfers on glass. I bought these wine glasses um, that I just haven't done them yet. I, but I've got ideas. <laughs> so, yeah, you can use the stencils for anything. You just wash them in between. So, like, if I was using this for ink, um, for my ink projects, then I can go and wash it and turn around and use it for my paste or vice versa. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah, I think the yellow would be pretty. Like, I think it'll really pop. 
So we want to do the whole thing. I think we should do... Oh, jeez. It's so hard to decide. Like, you can do a gazillion things. We could do the yellow and we could do the kiwi. Or the peony. I worry if I go blues, it might not show up. We could do the yellow and the coral. That, I think that'll be pretty. Let's do most of it yellow and then we'll put a pop of coral. Maybe we can do the buttons and coral or something. Let's see. Have I opened this yet? No, I haven't even opened the yellow. Hey, Lisa. Lisa's here. She's like, uh-oh, Bridget's on. I got to go rescue her and teach her how to do this. <laughs> Lisa's always on. Now I got Sue helping me too. Lisa, have you met Sue? Sue just joined our team. I get a lot of team members on here. Because my team knows they're like, we have to help her. <laughs> Lisa said, hey girl, I'm here. I haven't blown anything up yet. All right, I'm opening my yellow because I haven't even opened it yet. Try not to make this stuff it does make a mess when you open it okay I don't want to waste any of it I'm gonna pull it off of here Lisa said awesome hello Sue <laughs> see you guys get to know each other I think it's cool like our team we have the best team we're spread across the country we're all over the place but we all work together all right so I've got some yellow on here <laughs> Let's do, I'm using a little squeegee. Man, this is gonna be really pretty. I'm not really a yellow person, but I do like some of this stuff in yellow. Like it really pops. Like I'm loving the sunflowers. Did you say not yet? Hi, Lisa. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so now you guys have kind of met each other. Oh, and for my team, we have a team meeting tomorrow night um, at 8.30. So um, details are on our group. She said, can you turn your volume up any? Mine is all the way up. It should be up. Are y'all having trouble hearing me or am I just being really quiet? I'll see. Let me check my volume. Hold on, I'll check it. Okay, let me see if I can adjust it on here. I probably need to get a microphone. Is that better? Can y'all hear me better now? I have a little wireless mic. I'm getting all techie, guys. I actually, today I ordered a signal booster. Because um, I know sometimes when you guys are watching my videos, it like, gets hazy and I have a, a problem projecting. Well, that's because I live in the country. We have DSL internet. We don't even have high speed. It's like, it's bad. Um, we don't have pizza delivery either. <laughs> so if you come visit, bring me a pizza. <laughs> uh, but we don't, and so we have cell phone service. Now I have, I currently have AT&T and we are not in a guaranteed coverage zone if you can believe that um, so if you look on a map and you look up my address we are about a mile and a half outside of a guaranteed coverage zone so therefore I get a cell phone signal but it's not strong right and then combine that that we are actually on my second floor so usually my cell phone is like one bar so I'm broadcasting to you guys right now on DSL uh, so <laughs> that is why <laughs> My signal is so bad and I go in and out and then it lags, but I ordered a signal booster today, which I didn't even know existed, um, but we're going to try and get it hooked up this week. So I should be able to use a cell phone signal and get you guys high quality streaming so you don't have to put up with this craziness all the time. Because I notice sometimes I'll have like 20 people on my live and then all of a sudden like everybody's gone. And then I go back and watch the replay. Um, when I go back and watch the replay of it, um, I can see that that's where my signal went out and everybody left. So 
I'm not surprised. I wouldn't want to watch a crappy broadcast either, so I understand. <laughs> I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> okay. She said, not better here, but I'll deal with it. Interesting. Yeah, I've got the volume all the way up. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I do have like a little microphone that I can use. Um, but I don't think it's wireless. I'll have to look for it. It's upstairs. Okay, I like that. Let's do some more color though. Let's do like coral. I think that'll be pretty. All right, let me move this out of here. Everybody's we got more people on. Hey guys, make sure y'all say hello when you pop on so I know who's here. It's like roll call. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do some coral. I think this will really pop it, really pop on here. We'll do the don't and like the spool in coral. I probably should have put an ink mat under here. I did not put an ink mat under here. So this could be another lesson learned, huh? I guess we're gonna have coral scissors too, whether we like it or not. <laughs> My son and his girlfriend are out there cleaning his room. So apparently they had like a party last night like, my house is, like, teenage central. Y'all ever get that, like, with the kids? Like, all the kids come to our house. <laughs> Even though we live way out in the country. Um, it's, like, the, like, because I'm downstairs. This was my daughter's room when she lived here. Um, but, yeah, it's, like, there's tons and tons of teenagers here all the time. And they eat all of our food. <laughs> like. And living out here, it's not like you can just, like, run to the grocery store. You know what I mean? It takes a good 20, 25 minutes to get to a grocery store. So it's not like, oh, I'm out of milk. Let me run to the store. No, it doesn't work that way. If I run to the store, I'm getting breakfast or lunch out. <laughs> I kind of want to do, like, one more color in here on this paper clip. Like, you know, to kind of offset it. I think it's going to be cute. You guys are quiet tonight, huh? I'm just going in, making sure that we got good coverage. The thing, the trick with the ink is making sure that it's even. Like, if you don't have enough, it's going to show up when you pull it up. You're going to see where it's not as bright as it could be. And so there's a little bit of a learning curve to the ink. Just starting off, definitely recommend sticking with the paste. All right, let's do the paintbrush down here. We'll do this coral. And then we'll do another color, the buttons and the accessories. Just to kind of brighten it up. I've been dying to do this one. I gotta get some more colors though. White. Yeah, we could do them white. That would be cool. We could do the buttons like white. Let's do that. Because if I do, I'm scared if I do the teal, it's going to not show up as well. Anybody that's here local that's watching, um, I'm having a craft night at my house. We're doing... Um, projects on the 27th so there is a um a link to the event right here on my business page that you can register for your spot the projects start at 15 dollars. you have to go in there and pick what you want to do um, and you got to register by sunday All right and it is limited um so make sure if you guys plan on coming 
or if you're local, even if you, you know, if you're local and you want to come we haven't met, that's fine. Um, it's open to the public. You just have to register. All right. Just don't be crazy and show up at my house. We got five acres. <laughs> We're in the country. All right, let's do weight for this last part. I definitely have to order some more white ink. I never thought I would use as much white as I do, but I love the white. I mean, it just pops. You have to be careful though, because you don't want to mix it. Okay, this is gonna be pretty. Good idea, Sue, thank you. See, I have to have people on here to help me <laughs> come up with things. Okay. Are we ready to see what this is going to look like? I'm excited. I'm just making sure we got good coverage. Okay, ready? Drum roll. I wish I had one of those little sound machines. <laughs> I do, it's an app on my phone, but okay, ready? What do you think it's going to look like? Oh man, we should have used the sticky mat. <laughs> she said, you're welcome. Okay. Boy, this is going to be a girly apron. Oh my goodness, it's sticky. This is one of the super sticky transfers. Oh God, that's so pretty. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, hold on. Let me put this in the water bath. Oh my God, I love it. Why do you guys see it? I'm gonna hold it up. It turned out gorgeous. Don't bother me, I'm procrastinating. <laughs> How awesome is this? I absolutely love this apron, y'all. Oh my goodness. I do custom orders too, so if anybody wants one, let me know. I can make you one, you can pick your colors. Oh my God, I love it. See, okay, so I did not use an ink mat. Okay, it's not a big deal, because this is gonna dry. But let me show, this is why you need an ink mat. Because, if you can see on my table, thank you, Sue. I got ink on my table. It went right through the fabric. So if this was like a pillow, it would have gone through or a t-shirt. So when you guys are looking, um, you know, on my videos, I list the supplies that I use and that I recommend. And that is why I list it because I have the ink mat on there. You definitely need it. The other thing that I tell you guys about is you don't ever see me using it. These are, they're like our magic erasers, okay? These, you definitely want these to clean your transfers up. And they're not expensive. They're like, I don't know, two, three bucks for a pack of two of them. So I always list those on the materials used because you guys don't ever see it. But um, you definitely are going to want those when you're working on your projects. So that is what I have for you guys. So what I'm going to do, and we're not going to take the time to do this right now. I'm going to let both of these projects dry overnight because I want to make sure that this ink is good and set. So tomorrow when I come down, I'm going to heat set them. So you're like, well, what is heat set? So heat set basically makes it permanent. Right now it's not permanent. It's still going to have a hard time coming off, but I'm going to make it permanent so I can wash and dry these suckers. So when I heat set it, um, I have a heat press. You don't have to go out my heat press just to do one project. 
Um, but what you do is you want to take an iron and you want to take two pieces of wax paper or parchment paper, one on top and one underneath. You're going to iron for four minutes on each side. That's it. Boom. Once you're done ironing, it is heat set. You can wash it. You can dry it. You can do it with your regular laundry, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to do both of those and then I'm going to heat set the pillow and then I'm going to stuff the pillow. Um, you just need regular stuffing. You can get that from any craft supply store. It's not very expensive. So that is it. That's what I got for you guys for tonight. But thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you have questions about the product, shoot me a message. I will be updating um, later tonight or tomorrow and I'll have a link to everything that we did tonight, all the colors. Um, so if you have questions, you can go back. Um, if you want information about becoming a designer, shoot me a message, okay? You can get all this stuff at discount so you can make all of your projects. If you want to start a business of your own like me, I can definitely help you do that. But you guys have a great night and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye!